Reflecting on the potential uh, legal risks, our consequences. Yeah, giving a, a contact uh, uh, form. Yeah. That you can contact. Uh, legal team can communicate. Like if you have problems during or after the action, you can phone us. Yes. Collecting. Collecting the data of the uh -huh. uh, people who are participating in the action, that uh, if uh, something happens, uh, they can yeah. check it uh, afterwards. Uh, yeah, content-wise. Yeah. Okay, <coughs> we won't go into m much detail on this because I think it speaks for itself. Somebody you can mainly in, in bigger actions, if people arrive and they don't know much about what's going on, somebody who gives a, a clear briefing on this is why we are doing it, this is what we are doing, and this is how we will do it. Another role during actions? Medics. Medics, yeah. <coughs> I think also this speaks more or less for itself. Well, when you get arrested Media. and you use medicines, uh, what about that? Um, I think this could be something for a legal team to, for example, if there's an, a list of people participating, mm -hmm. it could be something relevant to add to the list. Yes. So that the legal team knows if you are arrested and you need medicines that they can contact the police and say like this person needs Please. medication and you have to okay. have to facilitate this. Yeah. Yeah. Group dynamics? Group dynamics? Mobilization. The B scenario could be if the police blocks then how will we deal with this? If the police blocks the camp, how will we still try and go out of the camp and, and, and still reach the action? Can be separate groups thinking of these tactics and then make sure that people know about these tactics. Communication with, uh, with the public that's present, like distributing flyers or banners. It's usually during the action, yeah. yes. Maybe they have some things to do. Yeah, not and, a role. And then the, the humanity, um, well, what we tend to call humanity, uh, that's, I like the way you put it, that's seeing the persons behind the target, so yeah. it's on the other yeah. side. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, uh, and that's uh, mainly uh, in um, during the action. Yeah. I think. So, for example, in the bank action, somebody What's speaking to the... Humanity, yeah. <coughs> Maybe we need to find another name for it. Though. Is that a personal speaker? Uh, yeah, but it's uh, it's not about the message, it's about the the de-escalation. So the activists, and this can be a very, uh, very diverse range of activists. Because there will be more roles within yeah. there. Right? Within there can be... What, what, what kind of activities can the activists themselves? Of course, all, all of these are old activist with. I mean then like for example climbers, people blockading. Yeah. What roles do we need given that this is the action that we plan? Uh, do we need a police speaker? Uh, do we need a legal team? Do we need a vibe watcher? Do we need all of these? Because maybe in some actions you will need only a few people. Um, and then as several people already insisted upon within these roles, uh, make sure it's very clear for everybody what exactly do you want people to do? And do these people in these roles, do they feel comfortable with this description of their role, both before, during, and after the action? Um, so the idea of the exercise would be that we go back into the small groups and uh, develop the scenario further, um, uh, and then going into more detail on the who, so defining the different roles.